So if we're using GCF, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to factor out a GCF from a big Hawkin polynomial. And the way you do this is you find out what the GCF is and then divide it. Divide every term by that GCF. And then it, the polynomial can be actually written in a simpler form. Okay, what do I mean? Well, what I've got here is I've got an example of a large polynomial that's already been factored. What do I mean by this? Well, first things first, use the factor tree when you can. Check this out. 15, you know, is 5 and 3. 10, you know, is 5 and 2. Look, there's the common factor right there. That's a 5. Okay, so in the numbers, the GCF is 5. Then look at this. You got two X's here and one X here. Common, this may have two, but this has only one, so you only have one in common. So there's a 5X. Now, take each one of these, each one of these, okay, and divide it by this guy, which we know is our GCF. GCF. Okay, so let's look at this original question. Let me erase some stuff to make it nice and simple. Aha! Look, take each one of these. What is 15 divided by 5? Well, that, in fact, is 3. What is x squared take away one of the x's? Well, that's just x. Let's go 10 divided by 5 is 2. x divided by x cancels. There's your factored form. Why is this called factored? This is the greatest common factor multiplied by the factor that remains. And look, there's your answer. They're identical. Now, how are you sure that this gives you exactly the same polynomial back? You want to be able to go from this back into this. Well, it's simple. All you got to do is say, okay, there's your factored form. All I'm going to do is distribute. That guy times that guy times that guy. Let's see what we get. 5x times 3x, sure enough, lo and behold, is 15x squared. 5x now times 2 is 10x. And I've got the original thing back. Boom. Right there. Now, so what do I mean here? Take a look. This means that I'm factoring. Why? Because I'm looking for the greatest common factor and dividing it all out. This means I'm distributing or I'm expanding. So this means to expand by multiplication. This means to factor by GCF and division. Okay, ones multiply, ones divide. So if you want, you can look at this nice little scenario I have here. Here's a polynomial with 3x squared plus 6x. Look, what is the greatest common factor to 3 and 6? Well, yes, of course, that greatest common factor is 3. What's the greatest common factor to x squared and x? Well, that's x, which means you can take a 3x out of both of those terms. So divide this guy by 3x, and look what you get. The 3s cancel. Take 1x away, and I've got, guess what? An x left behind. Take this guy, divide it by 3x. Look at that. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x divided by x, cancel out to give you 1. There's this form, and lo and behold, it's right here. Oh my goodness. So we can take a polynomial and we can factor it. And when we factor it, we get this factored form. And that's what it's called, factored form. And these two things are the factors of the factored form. Then we can distributive law, take this guy and multiply it to here to here and expand it. And if we do that, 3x times x gives us 3x squared, 3x times 2 gives us 6x, and we get the original polynomial, which you can't see because I scribbled all over it. There it is. We get the original polynomial back.